So this is an interesting example of an entity that really I wasn't aware of until just a few years ago, but now I see not so infrequently. So you can see on these MR images that there's a large, relatively T2 hypo-intense mass occupying much of the spleen with expansion and with associated restricted diffusion. Now on the correlative CT images, you can see that this large mass is relatively heterogeneous, it's hypodense, but relatively well marginated and exophytically extending outwards from the spleen. Now, to be honest, it can be extremely difficult coming up with a good differential diagnosis for most splenic lesions, particularly given that the majority of them don't have any discrete identifying features. Obviously, for a mass of this size, you'd have to consider malignancy, a large metastasis or lymphoma, and then a variety of different benign lesions, hamartoma, literal cell angioma, and so on and so forth. Now, this is actually a unique case in that it's an example of a sclerosing angio angiomatoid nodular transformation, also known as a SANT. Uh, these are benign lesions, which nevertheless often will end up getting resected as they start to grow and mimic features of malignancy.